long time no vlog i have slicked i know i'm guilty um but welcome to my channel uh if you're new my name is kimberly and i create content on lifestyle um what else do i create content on music and travel <laughs> i've forgotten i'm using this toner because i want to take off some things on my face uh and if you're a regular welcome back don't pinch me work has been working so i haven't been really able to get out and vlog so today's vlog will be pretty short i want to talk about postpartum yes the magic postpartum and uh just share like four or five tips on how to get through postpartum i lost my nose ring i'm so stressed uh, I lost it in bed. This is like the third one I've lost in bed, uh, which is very frustrating. So let's get into it. Postpartum. The couple of weeks, oops, yes, is the few set of weeks after you have your baby. Uh, and uh, sometimes we call it the fourth trimester uh, because there's so much healing going on for your body and your mind. And there's this whole process of adapting to this new life with a child and it can be hectic it can be a little bit crazy so i want to share what helped me get through postpartum the first is don't be scared to ask for help it can be really tough after having a baby if you had either c-section or a vaginal birth or it can be pretty tough you know and don't be scared to ask for help don't be scared to outsource help if you don't have help don't be scared to get a family member to come in and help you out um there is no shame in getting help there is no way that you can do that all on your own so don't be scared of asking for help um whether it's someone to clean for you to cook for you someone to help you come with take care of the baby and if you have a partner, um, don't be scared to like ask them to take a shift with the baby so that you can maybe take a break, take a shower, take a nap. So don't, don't be scared to ask for help. Uh, you are not expected to do it all on your own. The second thing is give yourself grace. That period is so hectic. You're still healing physically. You're still healing emotionally. Uh, give yourself a little bit of grace uh, you know it's still a trimester either way um, so give yourself some grace and allow yourself to feel the things you need to feel the next thing I would say is mm, stay hydrated and eat um, try eat healthy I know that sounds so ridiculous try eat healthy their foods that your gynecologist or doctor has probably advised you to eat um, to help with milk production, to help with healing. So make sure that you're eating well, you're eating regularly and you're hydrating a lot. I remember breastfeeding made me feel like I was totally, completely dehydrated. I used to feel like way I could drink the whole ocean. So buy those big two liter bottles and always have one mm, on standby. Yes. I don't know if this thing has that thing on the other side. Yes, it does. I got this from uh, Mosalend or Reader's, and it's really cold, so I'm having coffee. Mm. Like I said, this is going to be brief. And plan ahead, you know. Obviously, you know your baby's coming. Maybe you might not know the exact date. Maybe you know when you're being induced. You have a basket nearby with all your essentials. Um, your diapers, your wet wipes, a change of clothes for the baby. What else did I used to have? I used to have like a pulley thing where I had a changing mat, breast breast pump, breast pads, um, diapers, wet wipes, you know. If you don't have that, that's okay. You can always use any basket. Those small, nice woven baskets, just put the things in there. Um, have the essentials like near you so that maybe you don't have to move that much. Uh, so that you can enjoy your rest and your bonding with your baby. So have those 
nearby so always be prepared your medicine if you have any medicine you're taking hmm, just put them all there and within arm's reach so that it makes it a bit easier for you um of course you can always use a mat a changing mat for your baby to change them uh yeah what else what else what else what else um what else was i going to say it's gone but oh yes find a community uh postpartum can be ghetto and you can feel pretty lonely <clears throat> find a community of moms who have just had babies people who have had kids and don't be afraid to you know let them know how you're feeling talk to them share and you could also probably get a lot of insight i use a community called kendamaitu that has other moms so it's easy for me to just connect there and say you guys i'm feeling so defeated on this front or you know my baby won't stop crying my baby has colic what's up what are some of the things i can do and that community you know will hold you together when you feel like everything is falling apart because i am dashing out oh i've got to take supplements um I'm at the age of supplements, so this is omega-3, collagen, and magnesium. Don't ask. Mm. Yeah, so don't feel scared to get help. If you're having a struggle with meals, you can always get someone to bring you meals. Uh, if you're having a struggle with cleaning, find someone who can come clean for you, you know, your clothes and everything. And just try find as much joy in that time as you can um i know it's not easy mm -hmm. no it's not easy postpartum mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy and try to get people to take pictures of you with your baby <laughs> no matter how ghetto you look <laughs> you will cherish them much later what else what else what else did i forget plan ahead mama mia mm. like plan your house ahead plan your bags ahead you know when your next clinics are obviously after you had your baby you've been told maybe six weeks come back in two weeks depending on your situation you know everything is so diverse everyone's situation is so unique plan ahead if you know you have a clinic in two weeks set that reminder plan if you're not driving get an uber Get someone to drop you, get someone to pick you up, have someone come, pack a meal for you, a snack, have someone come and maybe help you out. Um, plan ahead for this whole postpartum period, you know, so that you're not left out in the cold at any point. But we all know things happen. And enjoy the journey. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but try to find joy try to embrace this new phase of your life Ooh. i found lip gloss i didn't know i had lip gloss try to enjoy this new phase of your life uh, try to find joy in it uh exercise i don't mean like go lift 50 kilo weights i mean like maybe try take a little walk you know get some sunshine um take a few walks I don't know about up and down stairs depending again your situation but if you can take a walk around take a walk outside get some fresh air 10 15 minutes should be fine um five minutes also works but try exercise try move your body and try take care of yourself i, I looked so ghetto postpartum <laughs> i was looking a hot mess my hair was not done uh Try to take care of yourself and i don't mean like go all out and get your face beat unless you can i couldn't if you can take a shower do your skincare a little bit with organic products if you have organic products this is why i use these these are from boss domain no chemicals nothing this is all organic rose water this is why i like their products you know even if it's just cleansing your face or you know putting a fresh coat of nail polish when you have time even if it's clear or 
soaking your feet in hot water and giving yourself some time to relax try to also take care of yourself don't let yourself go that much um because self-care also makes you feel good inside you know you feel refreshed and you'll be able to take care of your baby and be present for your baby if you're also feeling good postpartum essentials lots of diapers lots of wet wipes i will never say that you can have enough diapers i will never say you can have enough wet wipes uh get a variety of diaper brands because babies are very interesting what you think is a dope brand your child will come and be like nah that doesn't work for my skin get a variety of brands and when you find the one that you like you can always get more wet wipes you'll never have enough wet wipes those little things poop and pee a lot wet wipes help um you might have medication so medication will always come through for you breast pads Whew. i found out about breast pads much later uh in my journey i didn't know that there were things you could put to soak up the milk because well you have a lot of milk breast pads preferably you can get reusable ones that just put in your bra and they soak and you can change them once they're wet and you can wash them or i found this out as well late breast cups they are just cups you put on your nipples and they collect the milk and you know so it's not going to waste they collect the milk you empty it out into a bottle wash repeat um especially for if your baby is sleeping and you need a way to collect your milk well so so fundamental for me uh pillows if you can still keep your pregnancy pillow maybe you should <laughs> it could come in handy i bought a lot of unnecessary things uh some things i didn't even use a baby cot is still here because my baby refuses to sleep with anyone other than me uh breastfeeding pillows to help you figure out how to breastfeed a breastfeeding pillow will always be recommended as you figure out how to breastfeed a pump um store milk i mean like gosh, if you can pump the excess milk uh there are some hands-free pumps you can get if you can afford those they're the normal pumps there are some electric pumps there's a whole variety of pumps get what works for you get a pump and storage bags to store the milk that you've pumped always put it in the freezer and you can mark it with a marker so that the dates are clear and then later if you're like me who's going back to work your baby will have milk so that excess doesn't go to waste and what else what else oh get a good diaper bag especially like for going to clinics and stuff don't overpack for clinic though <laughs> that was a mistake i made my diaper bag was always completely full and i was just going for like 30 minutes and then i'd come home and i'd be like why the heck was i packing all this stuff it's good to be safe but don't overpack your diaper bag um, if you can have a diaper bag like pre-packed i have one that is already ready it has diapers on standby wipes on standby changes of outfits on standby and a couple of toys for her um and just take everything a step at a time look for communities look for uh, postnatal classes i know mama mudoni has a few take some postnatal classes stay ready but you can never be too ready but still be as prepared as you can as a girl guide Woo. always be prepared <laughs> and embrace the journey motherhood is not a destination <laughs> it's a journey like try to embrace every step every day you may not be your best on that day but give your best to the day that you are in and if you're feeling i want to say this because this is really important if you feel like you're really depressed and you're having really hard thoughts uh number one it's okay to have depression postpartum depression is very real okay we don't talk about postpartum depression we don't talk about how there are moms who want to unalive themselves because they feel like their babies would be better without them number one i want you to accept that that's real and that's okay and seek help 
it's not easy none of postpartum is easy if you can seek help look for a counselor look for a psychiatrist and just go and be able to seek help before anything escalates and gets worse okay there's no shame in going for therapy there is no shame for asking for help from a professional so go seek help get a recommendation from your doctors don't be scared to move from therapist to therapist until you find the one i'm feeling hot my room is hot i'm feeling hot guys i usually have a fun don't be scared to get help um and you will get out of it you will find yourself on the other side don't give yourself a timeline at you oh, i have to be out of postpartum in three months or no take your time and enjoy the journey i think if you're a mama and there's anything i've forgotten maybe something that helped you get through please post it in the comments below and i will also post the link for kendamai too so that if you're a current mom new mom or about to be a mom you can come into this community and we can walk this mommyhood journey together uh yeah but i want to call it a wrap i'm running out i want to run out before the rain looks like it's about to pour and i need to go run some errands so i'll see you in the next one thank you please like subscribe and share this video and i will see you in the next one Thank you.